Welcome to installing Java SD Kit 8, North Hennepin Community College, Professor Vogue. In this video, we're going to go ahead and download Java and Java Docs. What you're going to need to do first is download Javax. Go to www.oracle.com slash technetwork slash java slash java se slash downloads slash index dot html accept the agreement select the windows 64 begin the download once you've completed that installation go to your back button go back down to the bottom go to additional resources Select the Java SE8 documentation. Click the download. Accept the license agreement. Select the documentation in the zip folder. Begin the download. The first thing you'd like want to do is you're going to want to open up the documents uh, file, which is a .zip file. So if you open up that, you'll see a docs folder. Go ahead um, and start extracting that as it takes some time. You can extract it to your desktop if you'd like. Um, so while all that's extracting, go ahead and start installing the JDK uh, that you downloaded. So go ahead and do that real quick. And you can leave everything default here. So this should take just a few minutes to do. Um, the reason why we started unzipping that docs thing is because it, it takes a little bit, especially if you're on an older computer. But in the meantime, I've already got this installed. And what you want to do now is once you get this all installed is you're going to want to find the location of where it installed. To do that, go ahead and open up my computer and go to your C drive. Typically, if you in, if you have a 64-bit operating system, you'll have a program files and a program files times 86. If you installed the 64-bit version, it's going to be in program files. If you install the 32-bit version, it'll be in times 86. Obviously, if you only have program files here, it'll just be in program files. That means you have a 32-bit operating system. So go ahead and open up the respective one and then find Java. <coughs> Inside there, you'll find um, you will find that you have, depending on how many installations of Java you have, multiple folders. We're going to want to use, as you can kind of see, and now you should have your extracted docs folder somewhere on your desktop. So go ahead and drag that docs folder right into here. You may need to provide administrator permissions to do this. So go ahead and hit continue. Wait for this to complete. And now you have the docs folder installed into your Java development kit. You don't necessarily need to have it in there, but it just makes the process a little bit easier. Thank you for watching. Contact your tutor or Professor Volk with additional questions.